Here is something that has held many into captivity. You know, in many parts of the world, or in some parts of the world, people wake up as slaves to fear. But what is fear? You know, a man once mm -hmm. told me that fear is false evidence appearing to be real. That, is, that means it is false. It is not something that is real. In the Bible, in the book of Numbers, when the people had gone to spy a land in the times of Moses, they said, there we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak. We were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in our sight. Remember, they said they were like grasshoppers in their own sight, and so they were in their sight. You know, you don't have to be a slave to fear. It may be someone that you're afraid of, you're, you're afraid of your relatives, you're afraid of what people will say to you, you're afraid of men, you're afraid of women. But what does the Lord say about fear? You should not be afraid of men. What can man do to you? What can man do to you? Fear is not something that you should be afraid of. So, how do you overcome fear? And how does fear come into someone? You know, you know, fear comes into someone, or we, we open doors to fear when we watch movies that we are not supposed to watch. When you watch horrific movies, when we listen to the media, there are, me there are media stations, radios, TV stations that inject fear into someone. So when you listen to it, it creates an idea, it brings an idea into your mind. You know, when I was growing up as a young kid, I used to watch horrific movies. But as I was watching movies, it brought ideas into my mind. And when I went to sleep, and as I switched off the light, I had hung a cloth next to my bed. But because of the movie that I had watched, I began imagining that that cloth is someone looking at me. That's what fear does to you. That's what fear will do to children of God if you listen to the wrong information. Sometimes the friends that you associate with, because some friends uh, send rumors, some friends will tell you that you are not supposed to go this way because of fear. They will inject fear into you. The Bible says that for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So, where does the spirit of fear come from? It comes from your adversary, the enemy. Because he has seen there is a gift in you, young man. There is a gift that is in you, that is yet to be unwrapped. That when you, wrap, that when you unwrap that gift, it will be something that will change nations. But because of fear, you're holding, it, you're holding yourself back. Some people are afraid because people told them that when they were not worthy enough. Because you are not beautiful enough. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white. It doesn't matter whether you're an albino. The Bible says, you know, at the summit, the summit says, For I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully created. You are fearfully and wonderfully created. Whatever body part that, that is on you, your arms, your nose, your ears, your eyes. You should not shun away. You should not lock yourself into the door because of what people will say to you. There is someone outside there who's looking at you. Maybe that thing that was created on you. It may be your voice. It may be the way you walk, the way you conduct yourself. That people will draw close to you. There is a man in Australia, Melbourne, Australia. He's called Nick. This man was born without limbs. But this man did not look at his situation. People tried to put him down. But as I speak right now, this man has traveled nation, nations as a motivational speaker. He has a beautiful wife at the age of 30. He can swim. He has children. 
but if he decided to hide himself, he would have locked the gift that God had blessed in him. You should not fear. And we should not open doors to fear. We should surround ourselves with people that will bless us, with people that will be fruitful to us. Fear is something that has killed many dreams, that has made, you know, in the graveyard is a place where books are never written, where songs are never sung. Young lady, the world needs to hear your voice. But the enemy has been telling you that your voice is not good enough through friends, through your parents. But the Lord is saying now, if you practice day and night, if you take music lessons, your voice will be unlocked. You will move nations. I see a man who he has been gifted to do things. But because of what people told you, you look down on yourself. We should not be slaves to fear. Jesus came to break all those chains. Well, if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe and hit the bell so that you may receive the first video that I post. Until next time, see you.